Hey everybody, welcome to Trading Capital Exclusive Analysis. Today we're going to be discussing natural gas and oils touching base on the energy market. So, the energy trade has been very frustrating, specifically around natural gas. It's putting in this long, multi-week, multi-month basing formation, and it certainly hasn't been a straight shot up like we had in this bull move here. But needless to say, this pattern is still technically holding the main pivot lows on the weekly and monthly charts. And it is trying to show a sign of a little bit of strength today. Natural gas is catching a little bit of a bid, but on the weekly chart, it clearly has been beaten down this week, but finishing off of the lows slightly. One thing I'm noticing on the daily chart is you're testing once again this little bit of a mini wedge pattern. You can see that natural gas went to the direct apex of the triangle, pierced it, and then rebounded and closed back outside of that wedge pattern. Kind of like it did over here, where we had this little bit of a wedge pattern breakout. Nat gas is now forming another little mini wedge and it broke out over here. This is a much larger wedge which created a breakout. This is now a little bit of a mini wedge still inside of the same basing formation and accumulation zone. So this one we're just gonna have to be patient. I still have it uh, priced in that natural gas goes a little bit higher. You did fill the technical gap to the downside which is a bonus. On the intraday, you even fulfilled the little mini head and shoulders that triggered intraday. But needless to say, natural gas is still holding the weekly pattern, which if we remove these trend lines, you can see it is uh, this little weekly reversal here and this bigger weekly reversal candle over there. So nothing is technically broken as we speak. It's still holding on a monthly. You still have the much larger breakout candle impulse move, bigger move up full full retrace and now you're just putting in some meaningful basing formation. I still think we move higher but again it hasn't been easy. There's still a lot of liquidations occurring and we'll just have to see whether or not uh, um, natural gas catches a bid next week. Obviously we did get some news regarding New York State banning natural gas stoves. I think uh, that is just a little bit more of a headline news event and it won't really affect the greater aspect of natural gas. So. Let's just keep it on the radar. Obviously, we're just still accumulating. Um, full disclosure, we did add to our UNG pretty much at the lows around 621 exactly. So we'll just have to wait and see if we get a little bit of a bid higher or lower at this point in time. If we jump onto oil, there's lots to discuss in the oil energy market. Oil was defended. Oil hit that beautiful double bottom. It actually um, broke past this green bar, this breakout bar over here, which was a negative on a daily close. And then when it gapped lower, you formed a beautiful buying opportunity off of that double bottom support, put in a nice daily reversal candle, and you got follow through today. So basically in two days, oil made a big, big move to the upside over 11.47% on the daily chart. Now, not everything is rosy for oil. Yes, you're being defended at this double bottom, so you would favor it to have a little bit more upside, give it the benefit of the doubt. But if you look at it on a weekly close here, oil is still down on the week. Oil is down roughly 6.8% uh, on the week. So yes, you have two daily positive moves, but on the larger term time frame, it is still a negative week. And what makes it negative about this price action, although you are defended for now, you're still closing below this gap up. This was the OPEC gap up where they announced the price cuts and look, we're finally getting the first weekly close below that OPEC announcement. So that is a little bit of a red flag to me because the, what this is telling me now is that the OPEC price and uh, the OPEC barrel and production cuts have been priced in with this big move up and now they're being priced out again. So is it potentially that the economy, the recession is going to slow globally? That's why energy is signaling more weakness? Perhaps. Perhaps uh, there's other theories out there, but definitely paying attention to the technicals and saying that the weekly close on oil is bearish, and now you're getting your first weekly close below that OPEC announcement, which really isn't positive for oil. I still have it priced in that oil. Uh, if we click it to get a, a weekly close below these pivots, oil's heading much lower. I have a first uh, target around 57, and then um, there's a little bit of a lower target. We have to be aware that this M top formation does suggest the probabilities that, um, not the most likely probability, certainly not my base case, but it does suggest that oil could move down to about 4170. That's kind of your big breakout zone over here. So it makes a lot of sense that that is certainly a downside possibility. Not my base case, 
but just a probability that the chart is certainly distinguishing and showcasing. Other than that, I mean, XLE had a fantastic rebound. It is getting a weekly um, downside close today, but nonetheless, you have been defended at this longer term trend line that we've been watching. That's the wedge pattern that you need to pay attention to. As long as you remain inside that wedge, you have a chance to move up. If you get a weekly close below this wedge, you're going to test the 63 on XLE. Thank you all. Please give this video a big like down below. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and stay tuned for